my first ever story time and it's on my gaming channel. It's White Wolf M here, and basically, this video is a huge mishmash of anything and everything. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be annoying, maybe, to you. It wasn't, the whole process was pretty annoying to me, so you better enjoy the pain. Basically, right now, um, I have a working PC. If you have followed me on social media, you will know that my PC tried to die, and she hasn't. Hey! So it's all good, PC's working. Uh, we will go into that further along. So basically, uh, right now, this video is going to be split into three parts. It's going to be split at the beginning, me talking about next week's content, and the second half will be about when I had the PC issue, and the third half will be the way I fixed it, and the process of fixing it, and it's a bit of a story time, so hopefully you enjoy that. So it's going to be a long video, but basically let's get the the important stuff out of the way, I just want to let you know I've had an extremely stressful three and a half weeks trying to get the website uh, uk, <laughs> the stores and everything and the reboot and the launch I've just, I've just spent three and a half weeks just practically dead just trying to get all this stuff out and now it's it's done essentially I think there's like maybe five, five things left on my list to do from like a list of 70 so basically uh, what I'm going to do next week is I'm going to give myself a week off uh, so I'm going to have a chilled out week, I'm not going to be doing any work however that doesn't mean you're not going to get anything what I am actually going to do because I recently got a PS4 camera and my Xbox One is back from repair so uh, twice, twice, four times next week, twice on PS4 and twice on Xbox One I am going to live stream my PS4 will have a, a face cam my Xbox One will not because I don't have a Kinect and I don't, I have the Xbox One S so I don't even have the connection for the S for the Kinect, it's, it's all very annoying so basically uh, next week I will stream either four or five times I'm not sure yet, it'll probably be four, twice on PS4, twice on Xbox One and um, it's up to you guys what I stream I'm thinking of doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday on the evening, probably about 8 to 9pm GMT that's England time for everybody out there just in case you need to check your time zones and stuff so basically I'll be streaming on there uh, we will see what for the time being, if you follow me on Twitter, you will find out because I'll ask everybody's opinion and what to play. One of the days will be on Twitch, it will more than likely be Wednesday's stream that will be on Twitch. So again, the console and the platform, that affects the games because if it, because they're four, four, three of the videos that are going to be on YouTube have to be child friendly because it's YouTube. The Twitch one can be an adult one. So we can start a new series if you like, uh, so it's up to you guys what I play. I am currently pondering the idea of Dark Souls. I've never played it before. I think I played it once for like 20 minutes. That's it. I've started again. My other half, my significant other, is obsessed with Dark Souls and the lore and the history and everything about the Dark Souls world, so he's going to help me out when I need it. But I thought that might be a fun experience for you guys to watch my pain with Dark Souls. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you wish. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday. I will probably stream Sims on the Sunday, uh, maybe Dark Souls on the Wednesday on Twitch, Sims will be on YouTube obviously, and uh, there's a couple of like cute little games that I'm interested in playing and I think I might do those both on PS4, I don't know yet, we'll see, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of fun, we're gonna have some fun with it, but that's happening, needed to let you guys know that. So that's happening next week because that gives me a chance to have the week off because streaming is easier than recording and editing. It just goes straight out <clears throat> and I've really been enjoying streaming recently. So we're going to do that and then the week after that the normal schedule is going to start. There will be a video released next Sunday or the Monday following uh, covering the new overall schedule about everything that you can receive from me. So that includes blog posts from my website which are now live, please go and check that out. Um, streams, uh, videos, <clears throat> and uh, just all those kind of things, just everything that I will release you guys will get the schedule for because apparently everybody likes a schedule so I guess I'm going to have to have a schedule so you're welcome. <laughs> so the following 
segment clip will be about maybe nine minutes long it's gonna be a long video this one and it's basically me covering the PC issues I was having and basically I recorded a video where I pleaded with you guys just to bear with me and stand by while we experience these technical difficulties and that's why I arranged the stream week so then I could fix the computer within the that that week um, but if you go on to segment three or carry on watching and then listen to segment three as well you will understand why that is now no longer an issue and I'm simply just going to use the stream week as a week off for me personally so I can just chill out and just get back to normal and then we can we can start with a new schedule so yes enjoy segment two Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here. It is like first thing in the morning. I am a complete mess, but I, I needed to do this video because it's really important. Basically the reason why this is on this channel and it's not on my main channel where I usually put announcements is because this, this issue only affects this channel. So basically my PC that I've had since like September, October, 2013 she's four and a half years old basically almost now um, and she's dying <laughs> to put it simply basically every time I render and every time I game and I haven't even attempted recording yet um, every time that happens she overheats or she gets onto the case of overheating and the computer completely black screens it completely turns off now I have done a plan i've put a plan in progress financially so that within the next six to seven maybe eight months i can get a new pc and i've been given a temporary fix which is to put a really huge fan into the side of my pc and have that on a full blast and i've also been recommended to change the thermal paste and to get a new fan to have inside my actual pc so that i can shut her up again uh, I cleaned her out less than a month ago, completely de-dusted her, completely like... But I feel like the fact that I was always too scared to clean her out is one of the reasons why she's so dead now. And that the damage by the dust has already been done, even though... So it's, it's helped, but the damage has been done, basically. So in, this year, I have to get a new PC. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because there's a chance that in terms of streaming my Twitch stuff as well. Um, I wanted to start a new schedule next week, this new gaming schedule and video upload schedule for all my platforms, so Twitch, main channel, YouTube, and this channel, Gaming YouTube. All of that was gonna start a new plan. And my main channel is completely unaffected because I can record like this and I can edit on my i5 laptop. But a game, like gaming wise, I can't record on that. It's, it's crap. To, to put simply, it's pretty crap to record on and editing wise it takes like three times the length of rendering so a vlog's easy to render because it's small clips, it's me getting out my information, it's barely edited practically, it's just got a couple of like, do you know what I mean? Whereas a gaming video it's cut up loads, it's loads of effects, loads of like music edited and added to it and all this kind of stuff um, so unfortunately uh, on the 2nd of Feb I get paid so I can buy this temporary fix thing uh, that should hopefully give her another 6 to 7 months lease of life. If it doesn't work and I still can't render or I still can't record correctly, I needed to let you guys know because then the new schedule will not go into effect next week and for the next couple of months at least until I can pay off some of my other credit accounts so that when I get a new PC on Finance 1 I'll actually be able to get it on Finance and 2 I won't be having to pay loads off every month I don't want to be in a position where I take it on and I can't pay for it now as a treat for all the brilliant stuff I've been doing recently what I'd done a couple of days ago before all of this started happening and the computer started breaking on finance I did get a PlayStation 4 camera which means that I can still stream but it's PlayStation related games um, so in terms of my channel like my Minecraft videos um, 
Sims will be practically unaffected because I, ha I had also recently uh, been given Sims 4 on PS4 so I can just um, I can restart the series if I have to and get myself kind of back to where I was sort of if needs be for the Sims in terms of like a random small stream a week on on uh, YouTube I can do that uh, but Minecraft like Harmony Hollow I, I I, I can't do it so I'm not saying it's set in stone and I'm screwed and that the channel is completely getting buggered <laughs> that's not the case that's not what I'm trying to say at all I'm just warning you guys that if for the next month or two there isn't Harmony Hollow or there's less content or anything like that it is because my big main PC that I do everything on is dying and I don't know if this fix is going to be a a fix that will completely solve all my issues for the next six to seven months until I can get a new one or if it's literally barely does anything for her and she's still fried I don't I don't know I don't know PCs I'm I'm starting to learn now um, it it's never too late to learn but in this scenario I think it is a bit late and yeah I want to learn more now because I've realized just how important it is I've got a lot of friends that know a lot about components putting things together cleaning things correctly and all that kind of stuff so and I'm more confident in a, as a person I'm more confident and in my life I'm more confident I don't look at things hopelessly anymore I look at them hopefully um, so uh, to me it's not a lost cause but I've got that worry in the back of my head so I needed to warn you guys because I don't know what the future is going to hold at the minute there's still going to be content it's just not going to be the same content that you've already gotten used to I really just want you guys to bear with me while we work through these technical issues so fingers crossed things get sorted but if they don't I'll keep you as updated as possible follow me on Twitter uh, WhiteWolfM uh, for all updates in terms of this obviously it's a big update I will give you a video like I am now but for small minor things then follow me on Twitter or Facebook it's White Wolf M on all social medias Instagram but yeah I currently have the side off and a huge desktop fan practically not inside my but like on my side just so I can render these last bait those just so I could render the backdated videos for the backday video week um because it kind of started happening in the last couple of days of the week so it's not a lost cause it's not hopeless there are still a lot of cool things coming um obviously like at, by the end of the year there are other things that i want to do and get and have like in my personal life so that this plan affects everything in a positive way overall but just right now for the time being this little time period it might get really badly affected so just please bear with me please don't get angry with me just please understand that sometimes bad things happen and you need to find a workaround or you need to ride it and at the minute I'm having to ride it because I don't know what's going to happen I don't know what's going on I'm trying I'm going to attempt to do a completely clean wipe of my PC so we start again from fresh I have the bare necessities on there so I'm hoping that that will clean up a lot of stuff I will lose things I won't lose Harmony Hollow because I will back obviously I'll back Harmony Hollow up and well it's online anyway a lot of the Harmony Hollow stuff I meant like my you know map points and stuff and but in terms of like some of the series that I was going to restart or some of the series that have started ugh, they're gonna they're gonna change they're gonna stop and um I don't want to give up on my sims 4 gold digger challenge and I refuse to give up on the sims 4 gold digger challenge it's just it might have to move console now it has to move platform because it I just can't stream I can't record I couldn't even play overwatch I was halfway through a third game of overwatch and my pc died i can't even play overwatch so that is the extent of the problem as of right now um i in six days i get paid so i can buy the paste attempt to replace the paste and <clears throat> for the cpu and insert this new fan um 
I'm nervous. I'm really nervous because if I break it, then I'm completely boned and I need to just pray that I can get the computer literally like that and the finance goes through, but sometimes it doesn't work like that and you've just got to be careful. So, but yeah, I needed to give you guys an update on the content and what is going on because this is huge. This literally affects everything. It is the biggest thing that could possibly affect this channel. So please bear with me. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for backing me up and supporting me and helping me out because it means the literal world to me. I hope you've enjoyed the content so far this week. I hope you've enjoyed the content from last week for the backdated week. And I hope you enjoy the content that is going to come. Um, and hopefully the content that I wanted to bring can still be done. Hello! I'm back! I am back. Right, so this is segment three. Hello, and you'll have just watched segment two, hopefully. Otherwise, you're just here for the, th the fix on how I fixed my PC. If you skipped segment two, give you a summary. The thermal paste was dead, and my CPU cooler fan was crap. So that's basically what I needed to do to fix it. I also, the PC hadn't been reset in like four to five years. So I also did that as well just to help it run a little bit smoother and a little bit easier. But the fix worked. I spent from... It was funny because I bought the fan which came with some thermal paste. The link for that will be in the description below. But I, I ordered that on the Friday and I, it told me that it wasn't going to come till the Friday after. I was like, okay. So it's going to come at the end of the stream week. Fantastic. And then it said, oh, it will arrive on Monday like after I'd booked, it said estimated delivery, which was the Friday after, and then when I bought it in my order summary, because I bought it off Amazon, it said Monday, it literally came the day after, it came on Saturday, um, which was the third, so well, yesterday technically actually, when you're listening to this, so it arrived yesterday, and I was just like, wow, that's come fast, and I also had to buy some like wipes, some alcohol wipes, to help clean the old thermal paste off, what do you know? they came next day as well so they both arrived about one o'clock in the afternoon and i just thought to myself well i've been lying in bed this whole time i've been feeling a bit crap there's a reason for that i've obviously not gotten up and turned my pc on and gotten on with the work that i needed to do because my pc needed to be cold for me to do these these issues change these things so obviously there was a reason so anyway what i did was i got up uh came into my room pulled my pc out obviously unplugged everything opened her up, took her apart, and well, I was very nervous, I was messaging Nicola all the way through, hi Nick, and um, I was messaging Nick all the way through because it's very panicky, I was very nervous, I've never touched the inside of a PC before other than to brush it a little bit with a little brush, fine bristles, um, so I did that, so I took the old CPU fan off, I was able to clean the CPU of the thermal paste, that was all good, that was all great, and I did that, and uh, <laughs> she, um, I tried to work, I, first off, the instructions for putting this damn fan together was evil, it was crap, it was terrible, and the tutorials online were really bad, but I eventually worked out what I was meant to do, so I tried to screw these things into my motherboard, <laughs> these new, this new fan set thing, and it didn't fit, the hole was too big, and I was like, what's going on? So I pushed it up, because it was lying down, I'd laid, laid my computer down, and I lifted it up ever so like I heard something move, and I thought, there was something under the motherboard that helped keep the other half of the fan on. And I messaged Nick about it, and she messaged me back going, um, I don't want to startle you, but you're going to have to take your PC apart to get underneath it. Because I couldn't take the other side of my PC off, you see, it was all attached to that. So I couldn't actually take the side of the PC off. And, well, I didn't panic. I had a moment of, well, I'm boned. Um, and then I just I just got on with it. I just did it. Um, I unplugged everything. I took loads of photos beforehand, which I hadn't actually thought to do in the moment, but I had actually taken a load of photos beforehand. So I knew where to plug everything back into. And then I proceeded to unplug everything, unscrew the motherboard, and I gently lifted her out and plopped her on the side. And I was just like, oh dear lord, what am I doing? <laughs> it was terrifying. Um, so I did that. Found obviously this extra plate thing. And it was too small. The old plate was too small for the new screws. 
uh, like the thickness the screw was too wide to go into um, into the plate so but then I realized that the new motherboard new motherboard the new CPU cooler fan thing the cool master whatever it was it came with a, a plate and then I spent like 10 minutes trying to work out how the fact that the holes were too far apart from my motherboard holes it wasn't gonna screw in so there I am not panicking but getting a bit upset just like for god's sake why does this all happen to me what am I gonna do I'm completely buggered and then I worked out that the other holes if I'd moved it if I moved it into a slot because it had a bunch of different holes on it so it was clearly designed for s multiple different motherboards which I didn't realize at first because all the tutorials I looked at which was six for the record six six and they didn't mention that AMD had a different damn layout, so you had to use the different holes, but yeah, I worked that out, did that, holes in, screwed on, fine. So the new plate's on, flipped it back up, so, you know. Anyway, so I proceeded to put like a pea size amount of thermal paste on the CPU, and then I put the fan on top, screwed it on in place, Put the motherboard back on, screwed everything back into place, plugged everything back in after looking at my photos. It took me an hour and a half to do all of this, an hour of it I was by myself because Nick had to go and stream and everyone else I messaged just wasn't replying. Um, so, and this, the, uh, the tutorials online were god awful, couldn't work anything out. Um, so I did it all by myself, all of it, and um, it worked. And uh, I was so emotional. I was so happy. This is the first time I've ever done anything inside a computer and put a, like put a PC together, took it apart the first time and it worked. And I have never been so unbelievably proud of myself than I have been in that moment in my life. Um, so I did that. The previous week, as aforementioned, if you have watched the big chunk segment before this one. I reset it, I reset the Windows 7 on my PC, I uh, reinstalled some stuff and all that kind of good stuff. I do actually have a, a, a vlog when I was doing all of that, um, as well as a vlog for when I turned the PC on for the first time after replacing everything. So those will be after this, if you would like to watch those. So technically there's four segments, but you know what I mean. So there's that, if you are interested in actually watching that as well, this is one big video about this entire process, which I hope you watch, but if you don't, so long as you watch segment one about the stream week, next week, that's all that matters. Yeah, segment four, go. Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here. Please ignore the fact that I am recording this on my front facing camera, um, but, I wanted to share this experience because I have a feeling that a lot of people, well, I say a lot of people, I did, <laughs> I had this problem and I immediately worked it out, but in the like five minutes that it took me to realise, I absolutely panicked. Um, so basically in terms of Windows 7, um, I got a custom built PC from CyberPower like four and a half years ago and I, f I luckily, uh, luckily I saved everything that I got with the computer. So all the discs, everything, I kept them in the little box that my motherboard came in and basically I had a disc in there because I was trying to reset it and on Windows 7 you basically can't reset it unless you got the disc. So. Um, after four and a half years, I obviously didn't have a like a revert point that far back. So I found it, which was like a cyber power thing, and um, it wouldn't run. Uh, so I had to actually open the disc itself, like the CD itself, and run it from there. And then I did a, a complete new Windows 7 reinstall from the disc, uh, which is what reset my entire computer. However, when it loaded back up, because I have, I have two screens, I have two screens, um, and, and this one, this one here was the only one that was showing anything. It's connected by VGA cable, that one's connected by HDMI, but anyway, that one's the only one that was connecting, and it was showing, and all the graphics was, like, hugely embossed, I couldn't reset the screen resolution or anything, so I started panicking, like, oh my god, how am I gonna fix this? Right, so... 
I found this Zotac installation DVD disc and it's basically my graphics uh, my like graphic um, graphics card drivers basically so I installed them and it's fixed it it fixed it straight away it installed and reset so I'm having a look at like the motherboard stuff uh, Asus motherboard whatever I don't know what is and isn't installed now because I basically completely reset it so I'm thinking I have to reinstall everything um, at the minute my Wi-Fi my internet's not working so I'm guessing that's either to do with the Asus thing or to do with this wireless network adapter driver but I won't I don't understand how a wireless network driver adapter I don't understand how a wireless one is going to fix the problem because it's not a wireless one it's a wired computer so it's asking me to install Google Chrome so I'll install Google Chrome because I use Google Chrome I like Google Chrome a lot this is like a random little I don't even know which channel this is gonna go on this is just like a random little complainy vlog about resetting my computer I basically just wanted to reinstall it all because I felt like that might help my PC in the long run now uh, I pro yep couldn't connect to server I wonder why I don't know but I'm basically installing these Asus drivers that oh my word oh it's so old the little video that it showed I don't know if you saw it but the little video it showed it's so old wow it's really old so that's what I'm doing at the minute because I thought it would be best for this computer to have a completely fresh install I won't be installing a lot on there on here. I won't really be installing a lot of games. I'll just be installing the bare necessities of what I'm gonna need overall. I do have a list of software, uh, but I don't think I'll be downloading any of it. Maybe we'll see. Um, it depends on whether us, like I said in the other video, if the paste and the fan, the new fan, work when I can order them and and fix it. But we'll, uh, we'll see. I kind of wanted to just do a video like, Hi, yo, I'm having problems. This is what I'm doing. And somehow it's fixing this situation. So if you're stuck in this situation and freaking out like I was, um, yeah, this is what you need to do. Um, pop you down there. This is a flattering angle. But this PC at most will only be being kept for probably like five months, six months maximum. Um, I basically want to keep this one until I go back to university and get paid from university so then I can get the computer on finance, the new one, and then pay a huge chunk of it off with some of my student finance just to get me going as like a backup as a safety plan um, so I haven't got as much and then you get a certain time period um, to pay where it's interest free and then obviously after that interest is added on if you go past it. Um, but I'm gonna go all out with this new one because I loved I've loved my my PC the entire time I've had it I have loved it even though she's wound me up a little bit and the, this last week I've wanted to throw her out the window uh, but um, I don't want to get rid of her and I, I love her but the the cost it's gonna take the cost it's go the cost to upgrade her to run I am basically just buying a new PC it's gonna be cheaper to buy a new PC so um, I will keep her but I need to upgrade and completely get a new and, and need to and I need to get a completely new PC it's a pain in the bum and I'm really annoyed that I'm spending my Saturday doing this two days before launch day it feels good to have this back at zero though it feels really good after four and a half years of just crap and trying to re practically trying to restart but not like not wanting to restart but wanting to remove as much as possible to make it easier it's really weird to see again like this it's really weird there is so little on this computer and it looks so weird but i'm so happy so i just did a thing i press control out delete whilst in the command area and i had no idea what was going on so I panicked and pressed Control Alt Delete, and it it started my screens again, and it just allowed me to bypass it because I accidentally pressed a key without meaning to, and it wouldn't let me leave. So apparently, Control Alt Delete when you're on one of those black screens in the starting up menu, by like puts it back to the beginning. So, but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching me just talk 
rubbish for the past like 20 minutes. I hope this has helped or you've at least found my pain enjoyable. I'll, uh, I'll, see all, I'll see you all again very soon. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe to become part of the Warren today. And don't forget guys, it's nice to be nice. Pass it forward. Bye. That hurt my hand. Okay. All right, so I've just spent the last hour, hour and a half maybe, replacing the thermal paste and the thing, the fan and the heat sink, whatever that is, CPU cooler. And <clears throat> I had to take the entire thing apart. I've just plugged it all in, turned it on. I'm honestly so scared that I might start crying. Okay. It's coming on. It's not screaming, it's not screaming at me. Like it normally does. Hold on, let me turn, let me turn my heater off. Because I don't actually know. Oh my God, it's so quiet. What's going on? Something's detected. It came off the screen before I could check. Move that out, out of the way. Oh God, I am, I'm having like a panic attack. Oh, I feel dizzy, I feel light. Oh. It's on, it's lit up, everything's moving. I think. I don't know if that fan's working. That doesn't sound good. Right, okay, so I've took the side off just so I can monitor it. And the new fan is definitely working. You can see it there, that's the new one. And that weird noise has completely gone now. Um, it's minimum temp is between nine and 22 degrees. And the minimum temp before uh, replacing the fan and the thermal paste was a minimum of 25 and a maximum of like 46 at standby, not doing anything at all. Like just, just it, just loading up and just having stuff on my, do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Finished restart required. You've just told me that I needed to restart it. Are you trying to restart it like three times? Ugh. Um, I had to move my RAM over as well. Restart it again, I suppose. I had to move my RAM, o RAM over one because of how big the new fan is. I'm just hoping that, you know, that's not caused an issue, but it doesn't seem to have, but it seems to be working, guys seems to be working I just realized I was filming all of that upwards so I'm sorry about that but oh well right guys so I hope you have watched what you want to from this video I hope you have enjoyed what you've watched so long as you know that the streams next week instead of videos and then the schedule starts the week after we're all good hope you've enjoyed this content I hope you found it interesting fascinating I hope you feel proud of me because I feel damn proud of me <laughs> If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe to become part of the Warren Today, guys, and don't forget, it's nice to be nice and pay it forward. I'll see you all again next time. Bye!